Back on following the players to indie games for fun. Today we are going to deviate from the Horde survival path because there was a really nice email waiting for me uh, for a few days ago from a dev who made Combo Card Clashers, which is a really cool roguelike deck builder. From now on I'm going to say C3 because Combo Card Clashers is a really nice tongue twister. As you know, I really like deck builders and roguelikes and the combination is always a good thing to play. So let's read out the official Steam description of the game and jump right into it. Combo Card Clashers is a roguelike deck builder with a unique twist. Choose cards from your combo grid and play them all each turn. Powerful, craft powerful card combos. You will use tactical decisions and strategy to unreveal each hero's mystery by saving the world. Sounds really awesome. Without further ado, let's jump into the game. Uh, it's 0.5 demo version, so keep in mind maybe there are things that are going to be changed, like temporary artwork, as it's said. And we are going to try the warrior, an excite knight seeking revenge. Excite king, so I cannot read. Seems like today. Okay, we have a starting deck. Okay, a lot of information to you know check out here. Oh, we can uh, distribute points, just like in RPGs. Pretty cool. Let's see the starting deck. Prepare strike, physical. Deal 10% more damage for each car space after this in a row. Okay, so like a spacing or placing a card is going to be crucial. Attack a target three times. Each attack is one out of three damage. One, sl oh, sorry, one slash three damage, rapid strength. Venoms and venom skill. Add a poison debuff and 40% damage to your next card. Really cool. Cleave. Your next physical attack card cleaves into nearby enemies for 60% damage. And locate vulnerability. Damages and applies Desolate debuff to enemies. And Desolate does reduce enemy physical resistance by 25% less one round. Okay. So I'm not going to edit the deck since like it's uh, not available right now. And since we are playing, you know, warrior, I would say strength, agility, strength, based on my, you know, TTRPG experience. Warrior chapter one, a narrow escape, oh, really cool art. You sit up the throne of Zeradon, where the peace and prosperity you brought to the kingdom has some claiming your reign in is a golden one. However, just under the surface, unrest boils. Stoked by the flames of shadowy political orders, while holding an uneventful court, the peace is finally broken by a group of assassins wielding wicked swords and cloaked in red and black. Diglarok is risen. We will have your life and your throne. The word was spat forth at you as the leader of the assassins charged in for the kill. Ooh, okay. Your guards are quick to respond, holding back the other assailants as you parry the attack of the leader. You escape unsketched and leave a wicked trail of red down the side of his face. Your relief is short-lived, however, as the assassins overpower your guard and the man you wounded snarls and lunges forth. With all chances for victory extinguished, you desperately call forth a portal and leave through a sword slash through the air in your previous occupied... Okay. With no time to prepare the spell and plot a destination, you land hard in an unknown land far from the kingdom. You look around and get your bearings, but the only landmark you can see is a tall ominous black obelisk cresting the horizon. While you may not recognize the land, you have heard tales of those obelisks being magical foci for spells and unimaginable power. Perhaps you think with a grin coming unbidden to your lips, perhaps even enough power to save a kingdom. Wow. Okay, that was like an immediate stress, uh, you know, intro, just you are king and kind of an eventful and everything's cool, but uh, someone is plotting behind the scenes and they just came to confront you and you were able to, you know, save your life just in the last second, I would say. It's a really cool fantasy trope that I always enjoyed. So, but before we select the start location, just wanted to say that if you like the video's content or the channel's content, please consider subscribing or give a nice thumbs up to the video so the algorithm will pick it up and it will get promoted to a wider audience. It helps out the channel tremendously. Thank you very much. Okay, select a starting zone. Mm, 
there's a altar, special event, enemy encounter. Make a choice to alter your fate, of course. Ooh, nice uh, animation. So, how about skill shop? Buy and upgrade cards. Uh, we have money, but I'm not pretty sure about the cards right now. Uneventful tile, I guess. And special event. Make a choice to alter your fate, of course. I like to alter my fate most of the time. You find an amorphous floating orb in front of you during your travels. Skeptical, you toss in a nearby small stone. The orb ripples and twists, and a few seconds later a small winged creature emerges and flies away. Toss something else in. Choose a weapon and armor to throw in. Reroll a weapon on armor of that type. Don't throw anything in. Hmm. You know what, since we are here to try the game. You look for something to throw in, but have nothing. You live in shame. Okay, since we don't have any, uh, you know, items. Okay, cool, cool twist. Okay, uneventful skill cards, and you know, let's see what we can do. We have like 300 gold, uh, imbue purity, mana potion, nice pixel art, magic missiles, and expand knowledge. Upgrade card. 200 gold, burn card, 100 gold. Hmm, and what are the items? Heal 5 HP at the start of your turn, dragon orb, sounds great. Uh, Starlight cape, gain plus 1 to all attributes. Blood necklace, damage dealing debuffs can crit for times 2 damage, uses your current crit chances. And herbalist book, doubles healing at healing sites on world map, hmm, okay. I am deciding between Dragon Orb and Herbalist Book, and you know what? Let's go for Dragon Orb because I'm pretty sure we will need those healing. Okay, we cannot go backwards. It's also interesting stuff. So let's see if we can alter our fate once again. Walking down a small village at night, you see a shifty man with a strange glow coming from his coat pocket. He feels your gaze upon him and quickly darts into a nearby alley. You casually stroll by looking the direction he ran and notice a devious glowing skull on the ground. Look at you, oh my god. Take the skull. Gain an artifact that gives you plus 50% uh, uh, chance damage, but your max HP will be halved during this run. Yeah, I love the skull. Nah, you know what? Sure. You pick up the skull and you feel your body beginning to wither, but you want to inflict pain. Oh boy, now we are going to be edge lords. Lots of pain, uh, all you, lots of pain to all you defy you. I mean, all who defy you, I guess. The skull's eyes burn bright red with haunting the light. Plus artifact. Choose an artifact, haunted skull. Yes, just as we, you know, learned about it. Hmm, gear shop. We do not possess any money, so it's time for the long-awaited enemy encounter. You know, I I deviated from the path, uh, you know, uh, purposefully because I just wanted to check out all the other encounters. But really cool, drag a tile from your hand into your combo grid. Click the start combo button to begin your combo attack. Okay, so I would say, let's see, damage. Damage is and applies desolate debuff to an enemy. Great stuff. Uh, okay, so we can do only one at a time. And it cannot be... Yes, we, yes, we can undo it. Your next physical attack card cleaves into nearby enemies. Uh, there are three enemies we should kill. Attack target three times. You know what, let's attack target three times. Once. Okay. Enemy turn. And it is combo stack debuff. Description, used to build big combos. Ah, okay, so if I attack a specific target over and over again, the combo is getting built if I am getting it correctly, but we will see. You can click on, on enemies to change who to attack. Okay, um, just wanted to attack the same one. Ah, okay, and since I put this here, it's going to be, you know, dealt once again. Awesome. Be more damage for each card space after this in a row well should have been put first but never mind add a poison debuff and damage to your next card your next physical attack card cleaves into nearby enemies you know what sure let's go with that 
start combo. So free attacks and the cleave. Okay. Enemy is uh, doing damage. Wow, 14 damage and 13 damage. How to play? Modifier cards need to be played before others to work. Okay. So, uh, this one is a modifier. So, how about. Yep. Seems like I made a mistake, but never mind because this one is going to be okay now. Okay, so we were able to get them out, and if uh, an enemy dies, uh, my character is going to attack the next enemy automatically, which is really cool. You can move cards in your grid around after you place them. Okay, so... Wow, this is something I should have, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, started for first, but, you know, let's go. One modifier and a lot of uh, things to do. Oh, okay. That was a cool combo, if you ask me. And now we attach the last one. Maybe it's not very effective, but I think we have this round in the pocket already. So, yep. Victory. And we are level 2. Oh, cool. Old school victory music. Level up. Artifacts, stats, and heal. 50 HP. Rewards. Level up. Mm, okay, three points every time on the level up. Really great. So I would say dex. I mean, one agility and two strength. Artifact. Ooh, okay, mana horn reduces the mana cost of all spells. Stuff of walking. Travel over mountains and through forests in the world map. Awesome. View plus one extra choice of your first and second turn. Hmm. Da -da 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 -da. I like to travel around much faster. Play the next card twice. Oh boy. The next card gets Chain Lightning. Deals lowest attributes as damage each uh, bounce. Four bounces. Yes, please. Pretty cool. How to play? Click the top left card icon to view all the cards in your deck. Okay. Maybe it should have been the first, uh, you know, prompt window about the tutorial. Never mind. Uh, we have 105 golds. No, I don't think it's going to be okay. We are full HP. So I just want to recruit Tavern. Hire a recruit to help you. Okay. Maybe 100 gold is... Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Oh, that's a bummer. I never mind. So how about go here? Oh, we can go through the forests. Thanks to the walking staff. Really great. Okay, so now that I know a bit better... Oh yeah, we have now, so I can see my staff, and my mustache, and I can see points to spend, but it's unfortunately uh, placed kind of wrong. So um, max HP, health regen, starting wisdom, learn, no skill points available. Okay, never mind. So, as we know, modifier is going to be I need to be placed before. So nothing is happening, of course. What I'm trying to do right now is build up a really nice chain. And, uh, you know, just put the modifiers down. They, they think that I am not doing anything, but... After the, you know, the great, um, my great plan comes forward, they will regret the day. Uh, next card gets chain, add poison debuff, your next physical attack card, which is... I guess... is it working? No, I have to... Hmm... Okay, so I have to chain the stuff, like... Change this, so the next physical attack is here. And add poison debuff and damage to your next card. Which is, I guess, can be a modifier. Let's see. Uh, and let's hope that if I uh, put this here, like the big one that does cleave, uh, I will do a real nice decimation where I die. Locate vulnerability. Damage applies to desolate. Okay, physical attack. Let's start the combo. Okay, so we hit once. Yeah, I think 
That was a great one. And I do the locate vulnerability at the end. Maybe it's not the best combination, but okay. Okay, we are getting through. Wow. Okay. We are level 2 and we're pretty pretty powerful, if you ask me. And we played all the cards in our deck. Okay. Really cool. Collect XP card and... Okay, buff. Yeah, okay, so Mana Spring Restore. F uh, 15 mana. When taken, adds a copy to your discard pile. Block 5% physical damage for each card space before. This is in the row. Last one round. Give 7% lifesteal buff for physical attacks for one round. Yes, please. I like lifesteal really much. Hmm. Now we should go get some HP back. Okay. That is pretty cool. Skill shop. Yeah, let's go. And buy something awesome. Increased chance a monster. Increased chance a monster will join your party after combat. Okay. Wow, is there a chance that the mon I can recruit monsters? Wow. Okay. That's pretty new. Now. We are going to do the biggest combo ever, hopefully. Physical attacks for one round. Okay, so I'm just going to... No. I'm just going to locate vulnerability. Yes. We have like 80 HP. Not sure if we are going to, you know, go through, but let's see. So I would say let's place this one here. To start the combo. And what I don't understand is uh, if I put something, you know, if I, for example, I put the chain lightning down, and that specific turn, can I change those? Yes, I can. Oh boy, oh boy, that was, uh, yeah, that was my mistake for from the beginning. Should have done this before, but I didn't know that. So there is always place to learn, and we were vanquished course your run has ended yep because I was a noob so let's go warrior full strength you know just like classic build okay we skip the story because we know select your location and here we go let's go alter the fate special event I really enjoyed this I have to say you are exhausted after your travel it's beginning to rain and you can see lightning in the distance you decide to take shelter in a nearby cave. Upon entering, you'll find a statue of an unknown deity. What do you do? Pray to the statue. Random stat points and add a curse to your deck. Kick the statue, get a random piece of armor and lose 5% of your current HP. We have 420. Nice. Uh, kick the statue, you know what? You lash out the statue with a deft kick to its torso. At a surprise, your leg breaks right through the torso, splitting the statue in half. Inside the statue, you find a shiny metal object, which is ooh, really great looking stuff. Uh, yep, maybe the mouse placement uh, should have been a bit more precise because I can drag it from the window. Placeholder name, I like this, favorite armor name. I mean, without joke, it could be really cool. Just, you know, use it in the, in the end game. It's pretty funny. Plus 60 HP, damage resist, status for this wisdom. Okay, really great. So I can equip this. It's already equipped. Really cool. Now we are a bit more stronger than before. Gear shop. I just want to get myself as much as we can. Woohoo! Great stuff. Uh, okay, but we have a armor already. So placeholder name. Uh, resist. I just want to get a really nice, you know, X. Just get them. Gear shop, skill shop. Okay, so we do not have enough spare money to buy uh, other skills. So now we are going to do things differently thanks to our newly acquired, uh, I don't know, knowledge about the game. So since we can modify 
uh, the you know the, the current place of a card at the same turn when I played it it makes a really big difference awesome see big damage okay let's see the other so um debuff to your next card so this next physical attack okay so in this case we're going to do place this here and on the next round I can play the <clears throat> you know the poison one just put it there and do the decimation as it intended to do okay I really like the graphics of this game it's uh, you know it's hardly stylized and it kind of looks like an old-school game which is a pretty cool thing and it gives me the classic RPG vibe which I'm a great fan of so big props to that extra view choice for your first and second round yes please physical deal more damage give lifesteal buffs for magical attacks we do not possess magical attack unfortunately heal so the HP and give an extra card of choice with each draw exhausts after play so we can play it once or we cannot play oh your party grows we uh, recruited a rat that's pretty cool we can recruit monsters really great addition big props okay mm. dire rat it would be really awesome to name them when you recruit someone or something let's uh, start with our favorite rapid strike it's always a great choice oops some misplacement here on the UI venom and venom skill modifier do we have another modifier your next physical attack cleaves into of course oh and we can uh, move this by default and uh, place it after so really cool now the game is uh, getting much much better thanks to this uh, new understanding of the mechanics and eh, let's go for the physical one and if it does not die which is yeah unfortunately that's the thing mm, we're just going to you know place the venom just down here and we finished round Yay, that was really awesome. Yep, we have a card which is uh, damage to our next card. That's oh, frost debuff. We really like frost, so I just want to go with frost. Hmm, we have nice amount of HP and skill shop. Uh, great amount of uh, gold. You know, let's buy something. Chaos Room. Start each encounter with a chaotic player tile in your queue. Um, not pretty sure what this means, but okay. Reduce the mana cost of all spells. Nope. And how about Vampirism? Yes, because we were not able to try this last time. Because we died. Ooh, okay. Raging Boar. Two of them. Really muscled. Come on. Really buffed boars. Uh, maybe this is not going to be easy. But let's see. Let's go with our trusty rapid strength for first. Which is a really great thing. And also while we are trying to uh, muscle down these uh, raging boars, I just wanted to tell that um, I'm planning to start a podcast series. And I'm planning to invite indie devs to, you know, talk about their games, why they chose to be an indie dev. Well, tell about their you know journey why this game etc all the cool stuff so if you happens to be an indie dev or you know someone who's an indie dev and wanted to be in a podcast uh, please reach out to me you will find the email address in the channels uh, details and it would be really great to you know have some cool people talk about in the games in general and you know I like to hear different perspectives and just you know talk about interesting indie related stuff which is always pretty cool and as I mentioned in the 
beginning of the video if you happen to like no not this physical one if you happen to like my videos or you know the content of the channel or my presentation style or whichever uh, please consider subscribing to the channel because it helps out a lot my next goal is 200 and if you can hit 200 i will also hold a go live stream with a giveaway small indie title giveaways and yeah we talk about random stuff so thank you okay let's see attacks a random enemy with a powerful lightning yes please okay we are looking pretty cool okay unfortunately our rat is getting damaged but since he's a trusty companion uh that happens gives lifesteal buff for physical attack for physical attacks okay so all of them really cool okay look at vulnerability let's uh, go there and after that i'm going to what i'm going to do okay so i'm going to use and venom so we can do some nice poison damage i'm not a big fan of poison but it is really powerful so just gonna deny it no dire rat oh that's a bummer so um let's frost the buff damage to our next card so which is going to be which is going to be people strike ah uh, sorry now i have to avenge dire rat because he was really cool and now we are preparing the you know the master uh, something here. Attacks around the window with powerful lightning. Yeah, go. Okay, it does the damage, and also we since there is a card after the prepared strike, we do great stuff, and we kind of lack. Uh, so we have one physical, two physicals. Yep. Let's do Vampirism, because in this case, we will get back some nice HP. Oh, 9, nine HP left on the enemy. Mm, never mind. Go for the strikes, and we were victorious. Yay, collect. We get a card. Magical heal, 15 HP. Okay. So I would say let's go for the Riku Tavern because unfortunately I there red just got uh, oh we can revive it yay I just want to go with the rat and can we oh we can hire more yes this is really great hmm yeah well, let's go here and I after that I wanna you know change my fate oh boy oh boy golems mm hmm lesser health using to deal more damage for each cards let's just you know put this here and if we can you know build up a really long combo before dying we can do really cool extra damage thanks to the prepared strike y okay so physical magical let's throw the buff to your next card now we're going to do two physicals the prepared strike and the rapid strike okay so after that, I'm going to enchant the Rapid Strike with something, hopefully. And it's going to be... Here's the HP and view, an extra card choice within each draw. Mm, no, let's go for an Venom. And then thanks to that, we have two cards after the Prepared Strike, so... But, of course, um, Poison Debuff. Wow, we can poison the Golems. Hmm. Okay, interesting take. Never mind. So modifier. Let's frost the buff to your next card. Your next physical attack cleaves into the nearby enemies. So ah, oh, poison your next card. Ah, boy. Can we? Okay. So how about? Let's frost the buff your next card. Yep. Oh, this is a really cool thing that we can you know drag and drop those uh, tiles. I really like this system. It's quite, you know, uh, innovative. Maybe there are other type of games that do that, but I'm not uh, familiar with these, so I'm pretty happy. 
Okay, so let's go away healing stuff. Okay, so hopefully this golem is going down. The critical and we okay, so and we heal basically every turn. Okay. That is really cool. Okay, so no vampirism this time. Physical damage applies uh, desolate debuff to enemy. Your next physical attack card cleaves into the nearby enemies. This is not physical. And this mother uh, oh boy. Oh boy, your next damage applies. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, and after that I'm going to de uh, I mean buff the locate vulnerability with something. And I think we are set sail to win. Vampirism. Your next physical attack leaves into nearby. No. Attack surrender enemy. Yeah, I just really wanted to get back some HP because we are kind of low on that, so. Okay. Ooh, we weren't able to reach Vampirism. Damn it. Ally level up, ally level up, uh, XP, card, money. Yay, level up, we are level 3. Okay, so, strength, as always. Artifact. Hmm, Cloak of Charisma. Reduces the price of new cards, gear, and recruits by 10%. Yes, please. Ally now level 2. Ally now level 2, skill upgrade. Magical damage is all nearby uh, all enemies and applies frost. Yeah, sure. Unfortunately, I don't know how I read nearby, but my, you know, my brain just uh, completed the sentence. You approach a dirt clearing where a recent battle has taken place. You approach an injured soldier in stunning gold armor, still slowly moving about. He holds out his hand, uh, containing a small ring, and with a grin says, Here, take it, friend, and let the fury consume you. Ah, uh, okay. Decline the ring, and we on your way. Gain an artifact that gives you plus 20% damage, but your single target attacks are now random. Yeah, why not? You take the ring from the hand, and he collapses on the ground with his last breath. Oh boy. He looks like he died full of glory. As you put the ring on, you feel a deep and powerful rage flow within you. You notice the fallen soldier is still grinning. Because he's angry till death. I guess to the death. Uh, sure. Oh, we cannot go backwards. Yeah, da. damn it. That was a uh, wrong choice. Uh-oh. You hear the faint sounds of people and excitement in the distance. The night sky grows bright with lights. At the top of the ridge, you see a carnival below and decide to take a look. Step right up, step right up, spin the wheel to seal the deal. Really nice. A goblin showman exclaims. Minus 25% chance for random attribute points, random gear, random card. I mean, not, I mean, not minus, these are just, you know, uh, definitions. Okay, so go to spin the wheel, keep walking, you know, spin the wheel. You spin the wheel, and as it spins, it mesmerizes you into deep trance. Your vision becomes a spinning swirl as you hear the laughter of those around you and clicking on the wheel as it spins. We have a winner, the goblin showman exclaims, and you snap back to reality. Plus gear, oh boy, really cool. Uh, maybe we should. How about more HP, one wisdom? <laughs> yeah, we can give an armor to the, to the rat. Okay, so now I vision this rat uh, before myself, you know, in an, in an armor, a full plate armor. Uh, already have a recruit, oh. Boy, oh, damn it, never mind. Okay, so we just, okay, so the map scrolls, what's this? Boss encounter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, we've been all been waiting for, so boss encounter it is. Ooh, master of illusion, creates copies of itself. Can you find the real one? No. E boy, e boy, e boy. You see got a card cleaves in to no. Okay, so let's go with the rapid strike. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's hope we can get this dude. Now he's doing the thing, so I would say I just want to play safe and heal myself every round. 
15 HP, because that is a cool thing. Um, okay, three copies, or two copies, if you want to be exact. So how about getting this prepare strike as a great thing. And as we know, mm, our single target stuff is just totally random. So now, it's maybe it's not a bad idea, I mean, I can randomly attack the illusions and maybe I have, you know, some luck and uh, get the right one, not sure about that. Attacks around the enemy with powerful lightning, as frost go off to your next card. You know what, let's go like this. Oh yeah, big damage. And we healed, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's the zipping sound, it's really funny. You know, someone unzips his pants. I mean, it's torn of fabric, I do understand that, but it was funny. Debuff vampirism, so I think it's time. Heal HP and view an extra card choice with each draw. Yeah, next time we will do the vampirism. We definitely need to get back some HP because we are kind of near to death, but we have great chance to get this. Maybe if they don't, you know, focus my only character. But I know maybe this is too much to ask for, so damage all enemies and applies frost. Start. Okay. Oh, yes. One is down, which is quite okay. Okay, if we survive this round, uh, we have it, I guess. Ooh, okay, and now vampirism. Yes. Okay, apply this. Three attacks, and the heal, and the frost, and the vampirism, which, oh, okay. Physical attack, last one round. Demet, I should have placed this there. Ooh, God. Okay, so can I, like, oh, wow, that was bad, uh, you know, placing. I'm uh, pretty sure this is going to do it. So vampirism, okay, crit, really nice damaging stuff. Die already, come on, and the lightning will kill it. No, it resisted the lightning, come on. How? Yes. Big yes. Magical chance to duplicate each existing debuff on an enemy. Wow, compound symptoms. Discard after play. It's a really powerful thing, it can be done once. Yay! Chapter 2 The Cultists. Uh, the blood dripping from your sword mixes with the seeping from your wounds to create a greasy pool at your feet. As you stare at your own sanguine reflection, your mind travels back to the path that brought you here. Despite the wealth you uh, brought to the kingdom, unprincipled nobles kept most of the gold with but a trickle making it to the peasant below. As the common folk begin to blame the kingdom from their for their troubles, uh, ruckus protests and small-scale riots were becoming commonplace. Put down easily enough by the guards, the council ignored the places of the peasantry and your advisors did everything they could to hide the situation from you. Thank you, great advisors. I mean, no, F yourself. Among the things hidden from your view was a cult that slowly gained power and followers. There were whispers of a demonic influence, but those who did the whispering seemed to vanish soon after they spoke their concerns. Even after the cult had grown too large to be swept under the rug, the elders of the council dismissed, the co dismissed it as a concern. Stuck in the old ways, the, the, they doubted even the possibility of mere peasants posing a threat to your great kingdom despite your wishes to take action. But uh, rot had spread far further than just a few rebellious commoners, and soon the cult's influence affected even the council itself. The attack on your life plays through your mind again, and a small detail comes to the fore. The door of the court were always locked and, ba and barred, why the official duties were being held and only one person had the key. Your chief advisor, damn it. I have to say, the story is really well written. It's really, really captivating. Your jaw clenches as you men mentally add names to the list of those who have died on your return. The 
assassins, the leaders of the cult, and now your chief advisor and any of the other council members aligned against you. Their deaths are necessary to save your kingdom, and the obelisk grow after closer was the key. One more name adds itself to your list. One more being who must die to ensure your kingdom and your people's place. Diglarak. So Diglarak is sounds like a you know a drug. For 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 some reason, I'm not sure why, but sounds like a drug. So it's evil. You wipe the last of the last of the blood from your blade and set off again towards the distant monument. This was no time to delay. Okay, so I really hope that we can save the game and we can start it from here. If not, I'm just going to go back here and uh, do the next episode from, uh, you know, chapter two, because this was really cool and I really want to go through the whole game as the, you know, the demo uh, lets us play this. Wow, I'm really impressed because this combo chasing thing that we can, you know, just... Uh, change the placement of the cards even when we place another card on that turn it's really cool and gives you a lot of things you know big replayability a lot of nice combos and there are there will be other you know classes that you can play so as i mentioned the story is really well written i really like the mechanics there were some you know little ui bugs but this is a 0.5 version of beta so who cares they will fix it Never mind. So, if you like roguelike, you know, deck builder games with a twist, as the description says, I definitely, uh, you know, recommend Combo Card Clashers or C3, as uh, I'm going to call it from ra right now. So, I thank you very much once again for the email and uh, letting me know about the game. And I'm definitely going to continue to play through the whole story as the, you know, demo plays through. So, Thank you very much once again and if you like the videos or the channel's content please consider subscribing it helps out a big time and also there is a coffee page in the description so if you want to help out the channel directly you can do it there until then see you combo chasers